Hello, and welcome to Father and Son at the Movies, a new show where two generations of moviegoers look at today's movies. Uh, my name is Rich. I'm the father, as you can tell. And this is... I'm Ben. He's the son. And today we're going to have, for our first show, we're going to be discussing... Well, Ben, what are we going to be discussing today? Today we're going to be discussing VHS. It is a horror movie that came out back in October, and it is about a group of criminals who are hired to steal a rare VHS tape from a desolate house in the country, and when they get to the house, they find, a, they find stacks upon stacks of VHS tapes, which they plan to watch, and so they can find out which is the right tape. As they watch it, they find out it is a collection of horror movies um, of people being killed in supernatural ways. Really what it is, it's one of the old-fashioned omnibus sort of uh, horror movies where it's really just an excuse to create a series of short films, some by up-and-coming uh, horror directors like Ty West, uh, get a chance to, to, uh, to uh, make a short film and put it all together. It's sort of a throwback almost to the classic horror movies uh, like Dead of Night. Although, not nearly as good, but we'll get into that. Anyway, <laughs> Ben, what did you think of VHS? What did you like about it? Um, I thought it was very good. I thought the story was pretty good, and the special effects in the movie are um, really, they're really good for a found footage movie, mostly because the it's combined with, um, it's really gross and gory film, and it's combined with... Yeah, it's a really yeah. gross and gory film. Anyway, go ahead. <laughs> and it's also combined with um, ultra-realism. It looks like... It looks really realistic. It looks like people are actually being chopped up, gutted, killed. It looks very realistic. I would call it hyper-realistic. Um, did, did you like it? Yes, I, I liked it very much. Okay. So why, why did you like it? Um, well, I thought I'd just explain that. Oh, okay. Like I said, uh, like I said, great, st great story, great effects, great, um, good characters. I wouldn't say great for characters. I'd just say good. Mm. Um, but that's pretty much it. Okay. And speaking as the, uh, older generation father, uh, I really didn't like this film. <laughs> um, it, uh, it, 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 the, the quality of the short films are, are totally, uh, are, while are wild in character uh, in quality, um, some of them are suspenseful, uh, some of them are not, but mostly they're really, really gory. Um, almost all of the short films want to uh, push the limits on on what uh, on what is acceptable violence to be portrayed in, uh, in in a movie. So we see a lot of disemboweling. We see a lot of. Uh, uh, <laughs> organs and parts getting ripped apart and shredded and everything. Oh, yeah. Um, I, personally, I I didn't find any of them, the, the stories, very compelling um, or terribly original. Uh, the uh, uh, We're not going to do any spoil alerts here, but no. uh, one of them, one of the stories about these guys out picking up girls at a club and what happens to them reminded me a lot of an episode from Tales of the Dark Side back in the 80s. That's I guess that's where the old, old man part comes in. Um, and actually, the the, I, the one that uh, surprised me the most was Ty West's, which I, I am actually am a fan of Ty West's um, um, The House of the Devil. And he, also, he uh, has another one out this year called The Innkeepers, which we actually watched and we might review on a future program, yeah. But uh, which I also liked in, in many ways. But uh, his, actually, his short film is actually the longest and the most boring uh, out of all of them. Um, I don't know, I just... I didn't. I, I thought it was very bloody. It definitely earned its R rating. Yes. Uh, almost. All, in fact, I would put the R rating just a tad short of NC seventeen for any of the parents out there. there I would. Are, I would too. Yeah. There's, yes. there's a lot of blood. There's a lot of gore. There's a lot of nudity. There's a lot of yes. uh, all kinds <laughs> of things uh, in this film. Um, and uh, for me, I didn't. All of the characters are are um, are not 
admirable. They weren't ones that, I, you know, for me, I always kind of want to base a film on, do I want to spend time with these characters? Or if I met these people in real life, would I want to spend time with them? I didn't want to spend time with any of these characters. Uh, the guys are sort of stupid and clueless. The, they're very sexist. The whole, actually, most of the films are sexist uh, towards women. And, um, you know, I, I obviously I'm bringing my old man uh, uh, <laughs> <idea>. <laughs> concepts to the film. Yeah. Um, but um, so I have to honestly say that, that this was not not one I would recommend. Um, but I mean, how did you feel? I mean, even the story, some of the stories didn't make sense. Well, I do agree with I, I don't. We don't want to give too much spoiler alert wise. But anyway, go yeah. ahead. I do agree with Daddy that Ty West's segment is a little boring, and it's the least supernatural out yeah. of all the segments. Yeah, that was um, it. I, I, uh, I don't want to give too much away, but it wasn't supernatural at all, really. No, it wasn't. All the other ones did have a supernatural element to them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but overall, I thought it was a good film, and for any, um, for any teenage guys out there who love extremely bloody and gory films... Uh, I think they would like it. Okay. So, um, how if we're going to rate a movie or recommend it, uh, how many... We, we've decided we're going to do a fist bump. So, uh, how many out of four fist pumps is, the, is your high rating? What would you give it, Ben? I would give it um, three and a half fist pumps. Three and a half fist pumps. Okay. And I'm going to give it... One and a half fist bumps, <laughs> and obviously I don't recommend VHS. I do. To Like I said, to anyone who loves extreme graphic violence, then you would probably like this movie. And if any of you enjoy coherent storytelling and decent characters, skip it. <laughs> anyway, so that was VHS, pretty much. And we'll be back later to review more movies. Yep. <laughs>